hello everyone welcome to power system production course in this lecture we will discuss about re reverse power or directional relay so the name itself indicates it is reverse power or directional relay which means uh, the relay will operate whenever there is a uh, flow of opposite uh the if the power is flowing in some direction if the due to some reasons the power is flows in the opposite direction then the relay will uh, operate and it will give the signal to the circuit breaker to trip the circuit so let us understand how this reverse power or directional relay will operate so this is the uh, simple diagram of the induction type uh, directional relay so here we can see we have two uh, two coils this is one coil and this is one more coil so we we are here we are using two quantities for energizing the two coils one is voltage and one more is current here this is a disk so due to the voltage coil there will be flux and due to the current current coil there will be flux so the interaction of the two fluxes interaction of the two fluxes will produce the torque on the disk interaction of the two fluxes will produce the torque on the disk so thereby the disk rotates the resultant torque whatever the torque produced here the resultant torque is directly proportional to the the applied voltage the applied current in this coil and the angle between the applied voltage and current that is angle phi you can see here if you draw the phasor diagram between the applied voltage and the current uh, voltage coil voltage current coil current the angle between is uh, phi so the torque produced on the disk is directly proportional to the vi cos phi to produce the maximum flux on the uh, disk the uh, cos phi should be equal to 1 in order to get the cos phi should be equal to 1 the both voltage and current should be in phase then the angle will be zero cos zero will be one so under when both voltage and current are in phase we will get the maximum torque but under fault conditions what happens is we may get uh, the power factor that is the angle between uh, voltage and current will be uh, high so in such cases the power factor becomes very poor very poor so the torque will not be sufficient uh, to rotate this disk so under such condition we use a, a additional uh, that is shading coil we use a additional compensating winding that is called as shading coil thereby uh, we can produce the uh, required amount of the torque so let us uh, so this is a phasor diagram uh, between voltage and current this is the current flowing in the voltage coil since it is a it acts as a inductive circuit uh, we we can treat it as a pure inductive circuit the angle between the voltage and current in a inductive circuit is 90 degree so the angle between the voltage and uh, voltage coil and current coil is it is phi or uh, between uh, current uh, currents of both the coils it is angle theta so when that when this disk rotates it will close the contacts thereby it will give the signal to the trip coil and the circuit breaker will trip the circuit the expression we can write it as that uh, torque produced is equal to uh, that is uh, as i said earlier it is vi cos phi or it, it may be the i1 i2 sin 90 minus phi sin 90 minus phi again it is cos phi or i1 i2 cos phi is directly proportional to the vi cos phi so we can achieve this directional relay in case of the induction cup type also so whatever the uh, previous diagram you have seen it is induction disk type in the induction cup type also we can achieve this directional relay so induction cup type construction can also be used to produce the torque which is proportional to the vi cos phi the uh, arrangement is shown here so here you can observe in order to create two fluxes we are uh, applying uh, for a pair of poles we are applying voltage for another pair of poles we are applying current so hence 
the two opposite poles are energized by voltage the other two poles are energized by current so here the voltage is a polarizing quantity and the polarizing quantity is one which one one which produces one of the two fluxes and the polarizing quantity is taken as a reference with respect to the other quantity which is the current in this case so the torque produced in this case is positive when the uh, cos phi power factor is positive that is the angle should be less than 90 degree then the torque produced will be positive but when the angle between voltage and current phi that is more than the 90 degree more than the 90 degree that is between uh, 90 degree to 80 degree then the torque produced will be negative so in the power system at a particular relay location when the power flows in normal uh, direction uh, let us say power flowing some normal direction the relay is connected to produce the negative torque the relay is connected to produce the negative torque so which means under normal conditions the uh, uh, the voltage will be positive the current will be negative the whatever the current will apply the current will be negative so under normal power flow under normal power flow uh, current will be negative and voltage will be positive so the total torque produced under normal condition is negative total torque produced under normal condition is negative so this can be achieved by this arrangement connection of the current coil for reverse power relay you can see here the negative current can be achieved by in this type of connection so if the uh, due to some reasons due to any reasons the power flows in the opposite direction power power flows in the opposite direction then the torque produced will be uh, positive since the current direction changes the current will be positive and the torque produced will be positive thereby the disc rotates and it will uh, closes the contacts of the relay and it will give the uh, trip signal to the circuit breaker to open the uh, fault uh, open the circuit so this is about the uh, reverse power of directional relay and if we combine the directional feature to the over current relay if we use the directional feature to the over current relay we know over current relay operates whenever the uh, current exceeds the preset value so if the <coughs> current exceeds the preset value and as well as the uh, power is flowing in the uh, opposite to the normal direction then we can use this kind of relay that is directional over current relay so here you can observe we have two uh, units here the one is uh, two relay units one is over current unit one more is directional unit so for the directional unit in a uh, for directional for directional control uh, what we do is the secondary winding that is this winding you can see here the secondary winding of the over current uh, initially the secondary secondary winding this is the secondary winding this is primary winding this is secondary winding initially it is kept open you can observe here it is uh, connected to the directional unit but it is open so whenever the directional relay operates whenever this uh, directional unit operates first we will apply the voltage here we will apply the current here okay whenever the directional relay open operates uh, then the contacts here the contacts will be closes closed and this will make the the secondary of the over current relay to complete the circuit thereby the over current feature also enabled so this is how the uh, directional over current relay works so first the directional uh, unit will work once the directional unit operates it will close the uh, over current unit and the over current relay uh, will operate and it will give signal to the circuit breaker to uh, open the circuit uh, open the circuit so that is about the directional or over uh, directional over current relay so here one thing we should remember is under uh, normal uh, direction the torque produced will be negative under opposite uh, power flow the torque produced will be positive in order to make a negative torque during uh, uh, the normal power flow the relay connection uh, coil current coil connection will be connected like this 
that is uh, that is about the directional or reverse power relay thanks for watching